Grandpa Joe, as you know, has a different approach. He spent some time with the kids. He's very nice. And uh, even let him do a little Q&A. What do I say? Whatever you want to say. You want to make a speech? Uh, yes. What's your name? Yuri. Did you have a question? Yeah. You want to tell me what it is? Where's Hunter? Where the f*** is Hunter? Can't answer that one. Well, it sounds like that child has been watching Newsmax or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy Kimmel poking fun at Newsmax and the president, but not long ago, instead of saying Newsmax, I would think he probably would have been joking about Fox, Fox News. News. But there we are. Uh, so no more has the Goliath Fox fallen after firing Tucker Carlson. Joining us to discuss Newsmax host Lydia Serrani, plus the founder of the Foundation for Liberty and American Greatness, Nick Adams. Uh, and... Uh, all right, so let's talk about this, Lydia. <laughs> the kid's got a point, right? All right. <laughs> if, if, if not, if, if Tucker's not there, you know, who is going to be asking, what about ESG? What about Big Pharma? Where is, where is Hunter? And that's why I think we're seeing, uh, we're seeing a lot of people come to this network. Uh, mm -hmm. But this is a seismic shift in, in the way that people gather and, uh, you know, collect their news and the way that the national conversation kind of, uh, you know, takes place in this country. I feel like Newsmax is like old school Fox when it first started. Remember they said you put out, we put out the news and then let you decide. Right. And that's what right? we should be doing here. That's what a news organization is supposed to do. And by just eliminating Tucker and not even giving him a reason as to why and everybody's all speculating it's just astounding that this would happen and the fact that we have members of congress cheering this on that is fascism okay mm. i would never call for the cancellation of joy reed this is america we're in a democracy turn the channel everybody you has like the it. right to be wrong <laughs> Very good point there. Uh, all right, Nick, uh, you know, outlets everywhere are reporting how Fox News ratings continue to crash and burn. Uh, but they're not just losing viewers. They're actually losing them specifically at that hour. And now uh, I think it's something that people never thought would happen. MSNBC is beating Fox in that very important 9 p.m. hour. Katrina, it's a stunning, stunning change in events quite unbelievable what we've witnessed over the last couple of days mm -hmm. astounding what fox did given that anybody that travels around and speaks to any number of people will tell mm -hmm. you that the people that did watch fox news were really only doing it because of tucker carlson mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. as soon as tucker was removed from the equation all of a sudden they didn't think that there was all that much attractive about Fox News. So I think, unfortunately, sh certainly in the short term, we're going to continue to see this happen. We're going to continue to see uh, Fox slide, MSNBC stunningly last night, those results amazing, that demographic, 24 to 50. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if I was an executive at Fox News, I'd be getting very worried. Yeah, and again, I want to correct myself. I said 9 p.m. hour. Of course, it is that eight. crucial prime time 8 p.m. hour. Yeah. Uh, Nick Adams, Lydia Serrani, we're going to have you back. Thank you so much for being with us.